With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gaudin. Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. The ball on the tee, we're set for football. And we are underway from Hard Rock Stadium. Wishing he had a mulligan. That's not how you want to start the game. Not at all, because not only do you give up the penalty and good field position, but it just kills the momentum of your team as you start a game. Come on, come on. Hey. Off the play fake, here's Hertz sliding out of the pocket. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Osa Odegizua with the effort there to earn the sack. And so much for that great field position to start the game. Now they're way behind the sticks. Can't wait to see what their second down call is going to look like now. So an early wake-up call there leads to a quick second and long. Another try after the first down sack. Hurts swinging this ball out here to Tomlinson. They'll wind up getting 10 back there as it'll leave them with a third and five. And that was yardage that they needed there after the sack on first down. They didn't get all of it back. But now they look at third down as a manageable situation. One that they have a much better chance of picking up. Play action. Here's Hertz. They'll roll him out right. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Credit the great Michael Strahan with a sack. What a great job getting pressure here on the first drive. Three plays and already two sacks. And that pressure has been intense right from the beginning. And I'm telling you, if they don't make an adjustment in play calling and protection, it'll go from intense to relentless. And here's Gillen on now to punt as he gets this one away. This one angles out of bounds in a good spot in the coffin corner. And they're going to mark this out of the five-yard line. That is how you flip field position. That's an absolute bomb of a punt. Downs it inside the five-yard line. Absolutely ideal. From that position, you're hoping to get it down inside the 15, inside the five. Superb. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And space opened up a bit. He's able to take this up past the 10. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. And they'll keep leaning on the running game. Back to the ground. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. It'll be a loss of a yard, and that's going to lead to a third and four coming up. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. On third down, they're going to run for it here. And he will get the first down as he's up to the 20-yard line. It's a nine-yard gain, and it'll keep the drive moving. Well, there's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run, and let's face it, it shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with the idea, slow him down. Otherwise, it's going to be a long afternoon. They try and run on first down, but to no avail. Tackled for a two-yard loss in the backfield. Two things to watch. First, his strength and being able to break out that initial contact. But at his size, once you slow his momentum, it's hard for him to get it started again and end up tackling him behind the line of scrimmage. They'll try to throw down. Young. In trouble here, and down he goes. Back at the eight-yard line. Need something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. Young down. 
And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. They're bringing a lot of pressure here already in the first quarter. Already sacked him once. Now they get in there and knock another one away. You think maybe that tuck rule being gone makes defenses a lot bolder? Yes, indeed. That time, lucky that the arm was going forward. Incomplete pass. Young to throw on fourth. And he fires one that's intercepted. And he will bring it back. An interception return for a Lions touchdown. So, Charles, our first points of the game provided defensively. What a play that was. And I can only imagine that the folks at home watching are thinking to themselves, that's one of those plays where once the ball leaves the quarterback's hands, you just sort of go, uh-oh, and wait for the result. This time, the defense benefited. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six, and now the kick is away. A fairly short kick from the 14. And he's going to be taken down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. Remember, they were just out here a moment ago and threw the pick six, so we'll see if they can take better care of the football this go around. Yeah, and sometimes, partner, I think it's almost better that you just throw the pick six and you come right back out on the field. You're not over on the sidelines dwelling for it for very long. You're not hearing everyone say, oh, hey, you'll get them next time. Hey, don't worry about it. All that stuff just goes right out the window. You're right back out on the field with a chance to atone. The second down throw for Steve Young, incomplete. My first thought is surprise because that's one of the better tight ends around, and I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion? They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. Here's Steve Young. And the throw there going to be incomplete. Every offense tells you they want to come out and start fast. That's not unusual at all. But this group, they've yet to get much rolling through their first two drives. It looks like they're going to have to give up the football again after this one. down young he rifles one that's intercepted and the lions are going to take possession of the football you don't see this often a quarterback of his caliber two first half interceptions it's absolutely surprising because it happens so rarely you're searching for what reason, what's going on out there. It's not just maybe the defense is playing well. Is his horoscope off? His biorhythms? What is it? You went horoscope on us, David. Well, I was thinking maybe REM sleep was off. I'm trying to come up with something. <laughs> Anything, right? And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. A good pick up there, 26 oh, yards. Now a first and 10 at the 11. Throwing his hurts. He's got his man. It's caught for a Lion touchdown. Herman Moore, an 11-yard touchdown. And the Lions are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Extra point by Badgley, up and good. And that'll make the score 14 to zip. Following the touchdown, Badgley out there to kick it away. Taken from about the 12. 
And he won't quite make it to the 25. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And job one here, Charles, just keep possession of the football. Two drives, two turnovers to this point. You're exactly right, Doctor. Hippocratic oath, first do no harm. And right now, they're harming themselves on offense. I like that. No one is mistaking me for a doctor, though. But thank you, Dr. Davis. A good run got seven on first. Here's second and three. The play fake. Now Young. And that's caught inside the 35. Touchdown, Dolphins. Isaiah Hodgins, 69 yards. And the Dolphins are able to strike quickly here as they are in for six. Evan McPherson for the extra point. And that one makes it 14 to seven. The kicking team out for Miami as they will send this one away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. ready to kick off their next drive. Well, the football changing hands here as this offense takes a field. Charles, they'd be fine with more of the same on this upcoming drive. Last time out, they found the end zone for six. And they're certainly hoping for more of the same, but the game plan, I doubt it'll just be a carbon copy of the last drive because I think this offense is ready to break out some new wrinkles and try some new things that might be hidden in their playbook. They want to use that confidence to its advantage while also keeping the defense from anticipating what's up next. A growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. Hurt sets up to throw it. Under pressure again, and down he goes again. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. Back-to-back -back sacks have this place in a frenzy as they line up again third and long now. They go play action with Hertz rolling to his right. And unable to connect, incomplete. Now give them credit, they took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. Two things you can do in that situation, run and punt the football or try and take your shot at getting the first down. They chose the latter, but they'll have to punt all the same. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. Fielded at the 33. Officially, that'll go as a 52-yard punt. Not too shabby. And it'll be Dolphin football. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. And this is caught. Touchdown, Randy Moss, 44 yards. And the Dolphins are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. It took them a while to get their speedster involved, but they found him downfield there. And what we've discovered as we've watched games is the speedster doesn't have to have a lot of catches, doesn't have to have volume in order to have a huge impact on the game. His speed scares the heck out of defenses, and other guys can capitalize. But 
but when you finally hit him and he carries it all the way into the end zone, that's what you're paying him for. That big threat that can make big plays on a limited number of catches. That's how you step on the stage with your first catch. Take it to the house. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. Tie ball game, still a little more than a minute to go in the half. The question, can they put something together here, try to take that lead into intermission? I would have to think that would be the goal for sure. I don't think you sit on anything here. Here's your opportunity. Push it downfield. As you mentioned, it's a tie game. So minus a disaster on your part, you've got that in your back pocket. Go ahead and try and get some points and feel great going into the half. Hurts throw taken in here by Jackson. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. Back to back good plays have them on the move on first down. Hurts. Targeting more and he's got him on the crossing pattern. And he goes down but not before getting this inside the 25. Now another timeout called for by the offense as the clock will stop with just under 30 seconds to go in the first half. Okay, break! They'll throw on first down with Hurts. And that's going to be incomplete. And not a common sight, at least on this drive. A momentary setback, though, for this passing game that has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try and pick up another first down. Let's go now. Well, once again, they'll go from the 23-yard line on second and 10. Nothing, 19. Here's Hurts to throw. And they're going to get this down inside the 15. The Lions quickly now are going to use the last of their timeouts. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. The plan was clearly to challenge them by sending a blitz on second down, but even the extra guys couldn't catch him in the backfield, though. He doesn't scramble for a first, but he does get the last laugh by evading the blitz and getting beyond the line of scrimmage. Badgley's kick is good, and they take a 17-14 lead. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take, punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. He'll rifle this one deep right side. And that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. Well, it hasn't been a banner first half for the defense trying to cover him today, but they'll take that one right there, helping force that incompletion. And unless this is a quick incompletion, this is likely the last play here of this first half. Final play of the half, Young. He's going to launch this deep for Watson. Oh, and now Young here throwing another interception. And he will be brought down on what will be the final play of this first half. Time for a break. We've hit halftime. Two quarters down. Two still remain. We step aside. This is the NFL on EA Sports.
Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. The Dolphins down on the scoreboard, but they'll have it first as we get going in this third quarter. And a short kick taken at about the 16. And he'll get it up just past the 20 as his guys will go to work at the 21-yard line. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. This offense, Charles, had a strong first half throwing the football, at least in terms of yardage, but that hasn't translated so far on the scoreboard, is it? And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by Champ Bailey. Shifts by him. Oh, he's got some breathing room. But that one is going to sting. First play of the third quarter and a turnover. And you have to know that at halftime, they spent a lot of time going through their checklist of what they wanted to accomplish to start this third quarter. Hello, hello. Turning it over like this was not on that list. Not at all. You, and you come out of the locker room trailing, so that first drive to establish momentum is very key. Crucial. So they'll get eight out of that completion, and it'll be second in a couple. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made it a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Throwing again on second down. Hurts looking in zone, but it's incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. They'll go to the air here on third and two. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Shaquille Griffin with a pick. And the Dolphins are going to take possession here at their own six-yard line. The one side gets an interception, but their defense comes on the field and picks them right back up by getting a pick of their own. And I think you saw the same thing that I did, Brandon. As he ran off the field after making that play, we saw his quarterback seek him out and offer a personal thank you to bail him out a little bit as the offense takes the field again. The tackle by Troy Palomalu. I have to think a major focus of the halftime means had to be figuring out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secure before they slide off and try and chip someone at the second level. And they're going to get this up to midfield. So the line of scrimmage all the way up to midfield now as they've got it first and ten. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. And good penetration here. He'll get this down only to about the 49-yard line. They follow up that gigantic gain with the tiniest of pickups, one yard. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. And they'll give him another shot here on the ground. And a pretty good run as he'll get this down close to a first at the Lions' 40-yard line. A good run as he works his way for nine that time, and it'll leave him with a third and just a few inches. Now Young. And this pass broken up. Now the contact well timed there, and now fourth down. Well, this at least is the right idea. I think they've got to get the tight end more involved. He had just one target in the first half, incomplete. Now incomplete here with the first target of the second half. Yeah, it should not stop them at all from going back to him, though. Find him. Find him. Now Young on fourth down. That's caught by his tight end, Dawson Knox. And he will have a Dolphins first down as they manage to convert. And that'll keep the drive alive. Young. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. And they're going to get this down inside the 15. I love the drive they're working on here because they know they can take the lead with a touchdown. 
And so far on this drive, so good. They've moved the ball down the field with very little resistance defensively. But they better be prepared for some adjustments to come their way now. And he'll be taken down here at about the 11. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Not a whole lot there. The defense was ready, it looked, for that run pass option. You get the sense that next time he has that opportunity, he may keep it himself and get to the perimeter. Probably owes his back a little bit of an apology on that one, huh? And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. You are watching Madden Ultimate Team on EA Sports. And they'll keep leaning on the running game back to the ground. And he'll take this one inside the 10 down to the 8. Three yards on the pickup. That's going to set up an interesting third and about four to go. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big time play? And the Dolphins are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. I don't care how many times we see it, I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass tree in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. Give him two yards on that one. Second and goal now. They'll try to run this one in. And he is in. Touchdown, Miami. Taking it in from two yards out. And the Dolphins go nearly the length of the field and finish it off with six points. Extra point by McPherson, up and good. And that will make this a four-point game. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And here comes a return from a few steps into the end zone. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And now they'll look to answer working from behind. And remember, this offense has sputtered yet to score here in the second half. They'll need to change that here. He'll wind up getting right about four there on the scramble, and it's second down. I think the defense surprised him there with that blitz on first down, but give him credit. Stayed cool under pressure and still found a way through the extra rushers for positive yardage. Well done. And the comeback may stall out. It's intercepted. And the Dolphins are going to take possession.